Okay, so anyway, I don't know what's happening with the Incubus. I don't know if it's getting stronger or something like that. It's, I like, it's, it's acting very, like, weird. It's acting like it has some type of empathy or something like that. Someone told me it could be an alien. I know you guys keep saying, no, nah, it's not alien, it's not alien. But, um, someone told me it could be an alien. But now it's, like, acting like it has some type of empathy. And it's, shoot. Like, I was thinking about maybe it being a person or something. Maybe it's a person. Maybe somebody seen what the person was doing. Like, let's just say somebody jumped in and somebody seen what the person was doing. And then kind of jumped in and it kind of chastised them. Um, after, you know, the person has basically confessed to what he's been doing. Um, what is it? Psych, 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 psychically? Yeah, psychically and something like that. Then the person's like, you know, you're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. Not to treat people like that. I don't, I don't know what's happening by the end of the day, but all I know is like what I see, um, and this, it, it, this seems like a very, this seems like a spirit that just, it's, it's something that just, it does not like being insulted. Like if I say, if I say insult right now, I will feel like a bad feeling coming over me, you know, about it. It does not like being insulted. It does not actually, it does not really like being talked about. It gives me leniency because I don't actually really feel bad right now. But over the time, I felt some type of weird type of thing, right? Maybe it's de maybe it's a dead person. Maybe it's a dead person and it came in contact with the spirits, found out what it was doing, you know what I mean? I don't know. But anyway, Incubus has been acting really weird. Let me, get, let me get to what I'm talking about, but... So, as I told y'all in my last, uh, what was it, sleep process episodes, um, the Incubus basically been coming as guys I find attractive. This time it came out, out of, you know, from another guy I found attractive. And I'm kind of surprised the Incubus do this because, it's doing this because my whole entire time dealing with this thing, it's like it would, it would like never, it would never show me what I want. Like, it would just be like funny with it. Oh, if I like a guy... It will show me the guy, but it will show him, like, really overweight. Yeah, it would be funny with it. I mean, well, the guy really overweight is still a good-looking guy, but by the end of the day, it's not really funny. Or it doesn't show me anything at all. Like, and it doesn't show me anything at all multiple times. So, anyway, in the, these past, like, sleep paralysis episodes, it just been showing all these good-looking dudes. Like, this guy I actually been thinking about, he came out dressed in all white, guys, in all white. And then... I started making out with a guy, and then he started dragging me towards the couch, and I got on top of him, and we really started kissing even more, and then, you know, we started taking off the clothes, and then uh, next thing I know, I was riding on top of him, and <sighs> what did he move me to? He moved me to like, a, to, like, a bed in the corner of the room, and then I was laying on my chest, you know, on my breast, I was laying on my chest, and my butt was in there, and the next thing you know, it's doing the same thing the Incubus always does, like, just, just anal, just doing the same thing the Incubus always does, and then it took me, like, a minute, but then I recognized what it was doing, and I was actually a little bit too scared to turn around, I was like, oh, snap, this is the Incubus, you know, as I told you, it came as a guy I found good looking, but now I came to a realization what it was doing, and guys, um, the incubus actually took his hand. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a big hand, and put it on my mouth. Like, it's like a big hand. Um, so, and then I couldn't breathe, guys. I couldn't breathe. Um, because I remember when I went to sleep, I went to sleep with a, uh, what was it congested nose or stuffy nose? And literally only, like, one nostril I can, like, really, like, breathe with just a little bit out of, like. It's like that right now, actually. Um, so. Yeah. And it's just going in and going in. And now I was like, yo, I could barely breathe. And so what the Incubus did was that it moved its hand. It moved its hand, like, slightly like that. Or something. And so I can get air. And I just thought that was just so strange. The Incubus has never, ever showed any type of empathy up until these last, like, episodes I had. 
never ever any type of empathy ever being displayed ever it was like it was literally trying to like freaking choke me or something like that it was trying to choke me and try to scratch me all that stuff like this is like the first time i've ever done anything like so it, it no yeah yeah the last few the last few y'all like it's ridiculous and when you guys say oh empathy this oh there is probably did this right no i'm no i mean absolutely nothing no no type of care ever um and so anyway i just i think the dream it just kept going on and on i think that's the longest oh one of the longest i'm not quite sure episodes i had with the incubus but it just kept going on and on and on you know what I mean? And that's, that's like, no good. I believe I had to wake up because, you know, my heart was racing on that stuff. Apparently, it's too exciting or something. I don't know what's happening because when the incubus is involved, my heart starts racing. And it's, like, ridiculous. Um, my heart started racing at other stuff, too. But it's, like, it's just ridiculous how my heart started racing now. and never did before. Um, so, anyway. Bye, guys. I know you guys want to be like, what is she, what else you going to talk about? But this is, that's just something I find interesting about. And if you guys are taking like logs or if you guys are like writing down people experiences, like this is like a real one. Like this is like a real one. So freaking creepy, man. <laughs>